Let's talk about the model view in Harmony. We can use the model view to help keep our model characters on model as we work, and it helps speed up the painting process. There is a way to have default models load every time you work on a particular scene. So we do that first by going out to our operating system of choice, and here's our folder structure of our Harmony scene. We need to add a folder called Models, M-O-D-E-L-S and go into that folder and I have some Toon Boom vector graphic images, TVGs, that are ready. I can just copy and paste them in there. So now when I step back into Harmony, I can go to my menu icon in the model view and go down to load default models and there they are. There's just the prop of the umbrella and if we use these two icons right here with a left and right button, we can cycle through the models that are loaded in that models folder we just created. So what do we do with this? So there's a couple of things we can do with our model view. We can use the selection tool over here, which again operates very similar to our, or exactly like our selection tool. And we can grab parts of her. We can select her entire self. We can hit copy. And we can just hit paste, and that will paste her into our scene. Let's undo that. We can use the cutter tool over here to just select a chunk, like her head, for example. And we can just paste that if that's all we needed. Let's undo that. And like I mentioned before, there's an eyedropper tool here we can use to quickly and maybe more a little intuitively grab color from her. So I have here some cleanup drawings that need to be colored. Drop down to our color art layer. I'm going to hide the vectors for now. And clicking with the eyedropper tool, it automatically switches back over to my paint bucket when I go over into my camera view and I can just paint bucket away like that. So I'm a lefty, so it's handy for me to just grab the model view stick it over here since I'm a lefty. Resize this to our heart's content. There's a little magnifying zoom tool. We can click that and size it as we need. Looks great. Go back over to our eyedropper and draw eyedrop away. So let's just color this. Let's just color this particular frame. I'm using paint unpainted so that it will not paint anything that's not already painted so I can just go like that and it'll paint just the eye go like that it'll paint the whole umbrella let's get the oh I forgot the interior of that and let's get her legs and at last her boots oh let's not forget her eye whites there we go